Hey guys, welcome to my video and today I'm going to actually be doing a comparison between two of our famous kits, right? Right here, I actually have our mobile kit. Now, I am actually using the shortest crossbars available just for the sake of this video. So the mobile kit does not come with this short crossbar. This crossbar is only three to five feet in width. And I only use it just for sampling, um, just to make transportation easier, or if I'm recording videos such as this. But what I want you to focus on is the actual upright itself. Um, a lot of people often ask me, well, what's the difference between the two kits, right? And I'm pretty much going to show you guys the difference between the mobile kit and the premium kit because they are the biggest difference as far as height. Now, the mobile kit and the posh basic kit pretty much is the same thing other than these go a lot shorter. But this kit along with the posh basic kit, they both max out at 10 feet in height. Now, people don't normally get the shortest kit, either um, they do a lot of transporting and they may have a short vehicle. I mean, not short. <laughs> they may have a smaller vehicle or they're pretty short, right? And which is totally understandable because if you're shorter, you don't want to have to deal with ladders and step stools and all that stuff, right? So these are pretty like much perfect, the perfect solution for people that still want to design easily and they just a little shorter than others. Now, however, the Posh Premium Kit, now this actually maxes out at 14 feet. And what I love about the Premium Kit is that it maxes out at 14 feet. <laughs> it gives you um, really a good wide range of versatility because guess what? Look at me, I'm 5'9", right? I could still design this at my lowest, you know, at regularly standing as I would, um, you know, the mobile kit or maybe the basic kit. I don't need a bladder. I don't need a step stool. I can pretty much just operate this in its lowest setting. Now, again, this crossbar is not the original crossbar that comes with this kit. I'm only using this crossbar so to keep it short so that I could um, touch both of the uh, uprights. So when you get your kit, this kit, which is the Posh Premium Kit, actually comes with two crossbars. They both go out to 10 feet wide. Shortest width is six feet and it extends all the way out to 10 feet wide. Now, that brings me to my next point. The mobile kit, since this actually comes with special crossbars, it only comes with one crossbar. However, you can still attach any other kind of crossbar to this unit but when you get your kit when you go to unbox guess what it's only going to be one crossbar in the kit now it has the same exact slots where you can insert the crossbar hanger it has everything else is the complete same it's just it only comes with one crossbar so that pretty much is the main difference the next thing i want to show you guys because sometimes it, you can get a better visual when you see it at its maximum height, other than me just saying it. So I am going to now raise both of my units and let you see the difference that four feet actually makes. This only goes to 10 feet, this goes to 14 feet. You will see how much more money, although this costs a little more, but how much more money you are able to make by just going up a little higher. This is why you guys will always hear me say, Get invest in longer panels, right? Just it, pay the extra few dollars, right? Get a little more yardage. That way you have the versatility. So if you, maybe you are only doing eight feet backdrop or a 10 foot backdrop, you don't have to use all your drape if you, you know, puddle it the right way. However, let's just say you come and you experience a client that wants 14 feet, right? And you only have equipment to go to 10 feet. You only have fabric. You only have backdrop equipment. You're stuck. So you never want to really put yourself in a box of not being able to really get a bigger ROI or really service clients that want a more premium look because you're stuck in the 10 foot range. 
But if right now this is all that your pockets could afford, guess what? I totally get it because the good part is, check this out. The good part is all of our pieces are interchangeable, meaning if let's just say you get this unit, right? You start out with the mobile unit or you start out with the basic unit, right? You still can always upgrade just by changing out your uprights because they're interchangeable. So you don't have to get a whole new kit. You just pick up. Ta-da! Everything else still, it still is the same size, right? So everything is interchangeable at that point. But be sure to use two, two tall uh, uprights, right? Only thing I would say if you are going to go this route is if you do start out with a smaller kit and you upgrade with taller uprights, if you're not going to invest into the more heavy duty, heavier bases, at least get some weights because you still could use your smaller uh, bases. However, you're going to need a lot of weight. So invest in some weights. That way you can kind of still use all the equipment you have without wasting your money. So next I'm going to show you the actual maximum height. And I hope that really helps you determine the differences between these two kits. Stay tuned. So welcome back guys. So now I'm going to raise the unit so you can see the difference between the six foot maximum height and the 14 foot maximum height. Main thing you want to keep in mind when you're raising your units, because again, they won't be this short in distance, right? We're only doing that for the sake of the video. You want to be sure that when you're raising your units, you want to, especially if you have the three piece, three piece mean it's three different bars, right? Because it's all adjustable. You always want to start raising your top bar first. The reason in doing so, if you've ever seen my other videos, then you kind of know. But if you haven't seen my other videos, then I'm going to tell you right now. So the reason is you don't want to get to raising, right? And let's just say this is pretty short so I can I can reach it. But let's just say this is a taller unit, right? And I did not raise the top bar first. Let's just say I raised the middle bar, right? But then we get all the way up to 10 feet or 8 feet or whatever it is. And we get to look in and we say, hmm, that's not tall enough. I want some more. Well, you can't adjust any further because the top bar is eight, 10 feet high. It's all the way up. So you always want to raise your top bar first to the maximum height that it could go if it fits in your design. So I'm just going to go up, right? And another tip, another thing that I love about our kits, all of our kits, especially the newer versions, have the etch markings on the uprights, meaning if this thing is extended out to six feet, seven feet, eight feet, whatever it is, you can't necessarily see if it's even unless you continuously stand back or unless you have someone to kind of guide you that's looking to say, raise up a little feet, raise up. No, 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 come down. No, 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 hold right there. No, you messed up, go up, go. See, we don't want to do all that. So eliminate all that by using um, your etchings on your uprights. So right now it says six feet. So now I know right here is about seven feet and I'm gonna leave my top bars at seven feet, right? So if I know that's seven, guess what? This one is seven as well. You just gotta find it. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so we're at seven on our bottom unit, right? So now I'm gonna go up with my next bars on my, uh, for my uprights, right? And I'm just going to go up. I don't want to hit my light up there. Find my etchings, which would be right here. So I see that's nine. So one more that's maxed out because that's 10 feet, which is right there. And that's pretty tall. Some of you may say, wow, that's tall, but Remember, if we want premium, if we want to charge and demand high dollar, we're going to have to go up more, right? <laughs> so that is 10 feet. I'm going to scan, scan up so you guys can see the maximum height for this unit right here. Okay, guys, so now that I have raised all both my units at its maximum height, and it's pretty high, right? Now I'm going to let you guys glance. You know, I'm going to do a pan so you can kind of see from the bottom as it goes all the way up and how tall it goes. Now, I am not gonna be in the video because I am panning, 
But if you kind of take a mental note that at, right at this marker here is pretty much where my, where my forehead is, right? So as you're viewing, just keep looking at how much taller than this that it actually is. Check it out. Thanks guys for watching my video. If you'd like to see more tips, tricks, and resources, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and you will get a ton of resources. But you will only know when I upload a new video if you hit the notifications bell, right? I upload a new video every Tuesday and every Thursday and I'm almost certain it's gonna help you along your journey. Uh, <laughs> And I'm almost certain it's going to help you along your journey as you level up in your draping skills, right? If you have something specific you would like to know, put it down in the comments. Maybe it's something else you want to know about draping. Maybe you want to know about fabric. Or maybe you want to know exactly where to get these equipment pieces from. But that's in the product description. So check it out. Click that link. Get your products. Let me know what you want to see in the comments. And I'll be sure to add it to the schedule. Be sure to... Turn on your notifications bell so you know when a new video is coming. And guess what? I'll see you guys around.